Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. The community is rallying to help a heroic mom who was injured rescuing her four children from their burning home near Chelsea. Michaela Vish suffered second and third degree burns to 60% of her body. Her six-year-old son also suffered burns. The family's home in Gregory caught fire early Tuesday morning. Michaela's children range in age from 12 to just nine months old. The single mom repeatedly put her own life at risk to get them out. The wife of a firefighter who responded to the scene set up a GoFundMe page to help the family. When he came home, he, you could tell that this fire affected him a lot. And we found out that the kids were all about the same age as our kids. Um, so as a mother, I just felt, I don't know the family, but I wanted to help in some way. It, it hurts my heart to think about being in that situation. I think any mom, we all say we would rush into a burning fire for our kids, but fortunately we don't have to do that. And she actually did that and saved her children's lives. Hundreds of others touched by the story have donated to the GoFundMe for Michaela and her children. If you would like to help, we have a link at WXYZ.com. Well, the COVID pandemic is hitting hard in the Heartland School District. More than 1,000 students or about 20% of the district has been in quarantine, although a letter from Superintendent Chuck Hughes refers to it as exclusion. Three schools are now facing a two-week mask mandate in a district that stood by a mask optional policy. The city of Detroit is urging families to sign up for child tax credit payments. The deadline is November 15th for eligible families. Monthly payments include $300 for children under the age of 6 and $250 for children ages 6 to 17. Free tax filing help is available by calling 211. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here is 7 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your 7 First Alert forecast. Rexy. Rain increases overnight here. That'll be widespread for the morning rush hour through the morning tomorrow, then off again, on again for the rest of the day in the evening. Even into Saturday a little bit here, there's a 40% chance for some lingering showers in the metro area till about early afternoon. That's an extension in time. And in East Lansing, up till kickoff, there's a very slight chance for a shower most of the day will be dry there. Good for trick-or-treating on Sunday. Partly cloudy dry in the 50s. Here comes a cold front Monday. We're going to have lows in the 30s, highs in the 40s. Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we're going to have the first flakes of snow.